A man is dead after shots rang out in front of a liquor store in Mountain View this afternoon. Our ABC 10 News reporter Ryan Hill joins us live to tell us what police have learned in that case tonight. Ryan. Investigators are still searching for answers after a man is gunned down in broad daylight in an area with plenty of homes and businesses. But what we know so far is that an altercation happened and then shots were fired by a car that police are looking into as being described as a light colored car that drove down Ocean View Boulevard. We heard a pop, 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 pop sound. Did not know what it was. Those piercing pops heard by Lillian Moss at a veterans nonprofit on Ocean View Boulevard were gunshots just after 3.30 Monday afternoon. San Diego police say a man was shot after an argument in front of Mike's Liquor Market. Investigators say it appeared a light colored car drove up. Shots were fired and then it took off down the street. What I saw was a uh, black young male lying on the ground. Police are telling ABC 10 News CPR was done on the man before he was taken to a hospital. The first gentleman here had some pretty severe injuries. Unfortunately, he succumbed to his injuries. As police scour the street for clues, investigators aren't taking anything off the table as to why bullets started flying. We know that there are people that were here that know what happened, know who did it, and we'd certainly like to listen to what they have to say. Hoping people come forward to help close the case on this homicide. I can understand why people want, wouldn't want to stick around. There's bullets flying. I wouldn't want to stick around either. But once they get to a place of safety, once they have information, it's super important that they work with the police department. We want to work with the community, and we certainly want the community to work with us. Investigators say that people who have information and do want to come forward can remain anonymous. Investigators also learned that there was a second person who was injured in this situation. They were taken to the hospital or they took themselves to the hospital. Rather, they did not have any life threatening injuries. They're asking anybody who is in that area. They estimate about a group of 20 or so to please come forward with any information that they have. Ryan Hill, ABC 10 News.